You there? I'm in the repair shop. There are people outside. Can you spot them for me? What's she talking about? Hello everybody and welcome back to the Flower Collectors. My name is of course Constantine and we have returned back with uh, back with this amazing adventure. And uh, in this one I think we are going to have to help up Melinda here because she may just be in trouble. Now before we do anything, let's just grab the binoculars I think, right? Or do we have the camera? Yeah, I think we got the camera. Let's grab the rain. And where's the people outside? I think the cops, right? Oh god, there's a lot of people ar around looking for... Oh, it's Diego. Diego. I knew it. He is into this, that is for sure. And I have a feeling the guy in the phone booth is Houseman, yeah? Just as I thought. And there's a lot of cops around, god mm. dang it. There's that cop as well. Oh, it's the Polythea. Shit. She may actually get caught here. Do you think they saw me sneak in? No. Looks like they're patrolling. Oh my god, look at this. Diego and Houseman. Hold on. I think Diego is up to something. Remember I knew it. I knew that I shouldn't trust them. Look at this. Exactly as I thought. Is that Houseman? Yep, yeah, that's exactly Houseman. What are you two talking about? Wow. I freaking knew it. Mel, listen. I think Houseman is closer to the Polythea than we thought. Just tell me when it's safe to run back. Try to make it across the plaza to the church. You can get inside from there. I mean, would she even want to get inside the church? Because the priest is into this as well. So I don't know what to say about that. Really don't know what to say about that. Uh, the thing is... Hold up, we may need to wait for this one to turn around. That's when we're going to tell her to move, I think. Yeah, hold up, let's just wait it out a little bit. Guide Melinda to safety. So currently, they are watching. I need this guy to move as well. Here we go. New clue added. Uh, go. Go to the tree. Ah, oh, crap, hold, hold up, hold up. Diego is there. What? <laughs> he didn't see her? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Wow. Right, next up I'm gonna have to tell her to go right there. But uh, let's just wait for the cops. I don't think... Um, I don't think the cops are even gonna be able to spot her. I don't know, it doesn't feel like they're gonna be able to spot her. But uh, just in case, let's just the let pillar. that guy leave. No way, they'll see me. What? What do you mean? Go now. The pillar. There you go. Thankfully, it's raining very really hard, and it's making it difficult for them to spot her, I guess. Uh, we gotta wait for this guy to move. Perfect, and then tell her to go there. The Alright, next up, you gotta go over you there. Approach the church now. Alright, and she should be fine here. I think she got away from this. I mean, that was really funny because Diego should have seen her easily. Hmm. Right? right up. Oh, so she's coming up. That is perfect. Hopefully the Diego is not gonna come and visit us either. I have a feeling he will. Look at this. He's definitely coming this way. Crap. I'm pretty sure Diego is coming upstairs as well. Yeah, I don't like this. Hopefully he doesn't though. Hopefully he's going at the church. But if he makes it right here, he's definitely gonna come and visit us. Oh, yep, he's definitely coming upstairs. Crap. That is not good. I may need to hide her somewhere, though. Come on. I have a feeling Diego's gonna be knocking. Yeah, let's see. Who's gonna make it first? <laughs> this is so... Yep, just as I thought. Look at that. Diego is coming upstairs. I'm glad you're safe, and I'm so... Yep, I knew it. Look at him. Coming in like he owns the place. Are you for real, buddy? Diego, you uh, certainly pick interesting times to come by. Oi. 
Let's cut the bullshit. You know why I'm here. Wow, seriously, buddy? It's gonna be like that? Where's your friend? Young woman. Asks around a lot. Carries a bag. Like that one, actually. Crap. Dang it, we got the bag in here. <laughs> Where is she? He knows. Of course he knows. She's not here. I won't tell you. Uh, let's go with... She's not here. She's not here. Yeah? Awfully convenient for her to disappear yet leave all her things. Well, maybe I'll just hang around. You wouldn't mind, would you? I mean, I don't like it that you are in my house, but um, whatever. People are trading order for chaos. That's what's happening. They forget what brought us here. And now they want to throw it all away. I saw you talking to that politician. With Franco gone and the elections on the horizon after over 40 years, we need someone who can deal with change. Houseman doesn't want to change anything. He's part of the same old routine. And look where it took us! People can't be trusted to govern themselves. And the artists? Poets? Why repress all these people? They lead the masses into decadence. We did what had to be done for the good of Spain. Please, old friend, you're picking the wrong side. Did he send you? Let's just say you've been in our sights for some time now. You should hear him out. Not sure I want to talk to the man who killed a former colleague. I see. Well. Ah, oh, crap. What the heck? What are you about to do, buddy? I don't like this. I'm the one who shot the traitor. What? Are you for real what? right now? You shot a fellow officer and you... He was going to put all that dirt on us. Dirt? People were killed. And we are responsible. Some of them were barely adults. Don't lecture me on our work. They were homosexuals, deviants, morally corrupt. People should be free to live life however they want. When the clergy can't pray it away, the baton is there to do the job. This is insanity. It has to end. Ah, what was that? Crap. That was Melinda trying to contact us, I think. Dang it. Um, I wish I could get my freaking gun <laughs> from here. What do here. you think you're doing? Come back out. We're not done. Yeah, hold up. Ah, oh, crap, he's in the door. Seriously? I was just... Ah, oh, crap, he's got a gun out. Are you for real right now? God dang it. What do you want, buddy? I mean, what am I supposed to do here? Can I just grab my gun from here? I know I got a gun in here, but uh, apparently we cannot interact with the box. Um, Yeah, let's just have a chat with him, I guess. I'm running out of time. Crap, look at this. Oh, your friend. You really should have changed the frequencies. Shit. Tell her to come over. And no tricks. Molina, are you there? Molina, come back to Diego. What's your plan? Let's go with, uh, what's your plan, yeah. So what's your plan? Shoot both of us? Don't be ridiculous. We can discuss your case tomorrow night, after the election. As for her, you know what needs to happen. One more body to hide. I mean, you already killed one of us, dude, so I'm pretty sure you are gonna try to kill me as well. What's your insurance? <laughs> With Houseman in office, I will climb the ranks in the Polythia, and I... How can you be so foolish? With Houseman in office, your part is finished. All he needs is a fall guy for the murders, and the whole thing gets buried. You don't know anything. We already have an agreement. You have nothing. An empty promise. No proof. Only blood on your hands. Exactly. That's enough. Shut up. <laughs> he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't like it. Melinda, you there? Where is she? What happened after my accident? Accident. That's what you're telling yourself now? Of course we went after the punks who attacked you in the harbor. It's about respect. 
So you killed them too? Who cares? I died. We, we roughed them up. We made them pay for what they did to you. Call her again. You're running out of time. Oh crap, look at that. Melinda's behind them. Seriously? Hey, Melinda. Come back. Wow. You'll be fine with all this. Murdering innocents. Who do you think you are? Look at yourself. You've gone soft. You're a broken man. I won't take lectures from someone as callous as you. While the church is on our side, I know we're in the right. They trust us to keep the country on a path of tradition and morals. That's how you keep the people united. More excuses. All I see is madmen drunk on power. Don't kid yourself. This is the way it has to be. Now call her. Um, is there anything else I gotta do here? Oh, hold up. Oh, there we go. Good job, Melinda. Uh, let's grab the gun. Step back. Yeah, there we go, boy. That is awesome. Finally got him. Freaking jackass. Never thought I'd I knew I shouldn't trust like Diego. Traitor scum. Uh, shoot Diego. Tell Melinda to tie him down. Um, let's go with tell Melinda to tie him down. Stick I guess. Come up, Melinda. Tie him down. You're done, asshole. Hopefully he's not gonna try anything though. All right, I think we got him. How does he look? Oh, there we go. There he is. How does He's he out. look? He's out. Should give us enough breathing room to finish up. I've got an hour to get this to the paper. Let's go. All right. So uh, next up, I think we gotta finish up the um, the news. Let's look at Diego here. Not sure which one of us changed. Were you always like this? Mark. My words. Democracy. Was never meant to last. One day. The time will come for us to. Wow. We'll see about that. All right. So I guess uh, he's knocked a coal, more likely. Um, let's see. So next up, we got to figure out how Help to piece up the story. Story. Now the thing is, we do have quite a lot of information from Diego since he tried to get us, which is great. Let's see. Houseman sent someone else to kill Mole. Um, Diego took revenge on. For his attackers. I mean, this is not really important. Houseman is running for office. Houseman was afraid of bad publicity. Jorge took part in the raid by the flower collectors. And Diego admitted to killing the mole. So Houseman is running for office. Let's Houseman go with that, the first one. To stay in power. And so he ran for office. In a way, it's that simple. All right, next up, Houseman was afraid of bad publicity. Houseman realized that if the public knew about his past, he would never get elected. So he arranged to cover up his past. Oh, uh, actually, let's get this one. Uh, we cannot get it all the way down. Houseman. So he so arranged... again, I think I'm going to leave it there. In that case, let's go with Houseman sent someone else to kill the mole. Houseman knew that it was too risky to kill the mole himself. So he went exactly. looking for someone in the policia who would be willing to play the role of an assassin. Exactly. And next up, uh, Diego admitted to killing the mole. I can't believe Diego is the one who did it. Both him and Houseman are responsible, and they will both pay the price. All right, continue. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the right, uh, the right way to go with it. Okay, I'm off. Do you know someone you can call about this guy? Someone you can trust? I have an old friend who's a doctor. He can take care of Diego until tomorrow. Once you blow the lid on this thing, we'll see who in the Polithea we can trust. Sounds good. See you later. Good luck. All right, there we go. So we finally, uh, we finally got Diego. Call someone you can trust. Man, what a jackass. Hopefully he's not gonna get away though. I really hope we can 
keep him down here. Uh, let's call the doctor. It's over. Chapter 10, Closure. Hmm, a few days later. Hey, old man, come on. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, she's outside. Hey, Melinda. What are you up to? Anything interesting going on? Some old acquaintances are making an appearance. Nothing as exciting as last week, though. <laughs> I sure hope not. Hmm. Observe the plaza. Look for binoculars. Uh, first of all, let's look for the binoculars. Actually, yeah. So, what are we looking at now? Wonder how everyone is doing. I think we kind of took care of everything, right? What we're doing right now is just uh, checking over everybody, and making sure they're all right. So the priest is. Maybe I was reading the newspaper. Nothing special. Just sitting outside there. Fortunately, we cannot convict him of anything. Um, the waiter. The waiter seems a bit fidgety. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder what's going on with those oh. two. Oh, he's waiting for Lola. Maybe they want to escape. They want to. They want to run away. I don't know. <laughs> they're like having they're fun. Leaving. Now that the cabaret is closing. I'm so relieved it turned out well for them. That is awesome. Perfect. All right, so they are all okay. Um, what else? Oh, look at this. Blanco, Carmen. Carmen is okay as well. Celebrating the closing of the cabaret. Huh. That is interesting. Alice's money has run dry. Selling out her patrons probably wasn't what she had in mind. Must feel good to be done with it. All right. Uh, apparently, the uh, repair shop is back online. Ah, I guess. The mechanics are back. Thank God. I thought they'd end up gone as well. Looks like they read your article. <laughs> well, I didn't specifically mention them. There are plenty of other bad people who might be looking for them. They helped. And nobody else needs to know their names. Alright, uh, next up. Next up, I think uh, this guy's back. Look at that. Aldo. Is this gonna activate anything, or... Oh, hold up. Is that cop coming for him, or... Crap. I hope he's not gonna come for him, though. Let's see, what's about to happen here? Aldo's still being harassed by the Polythea. Hmm. Yeah, I guess they're not leaving him uh, sit on the street. I think he's just gonna go to the priest there. Hopefully, it won't be as bad as before. Yeah, as long as they don't beat him down and arrest him for no reason, I guess that's okay. Uh, these guys are all okay. Let's see. Is Elder going to the priest? Yeah, he definitely is. Huh. Eusebio seems relieved. It bugs me that we will never know the extent of his involvement. At least he's back to helping Aldo. That's... Let's hope he does a proper job of it in the future. All right, that is something. Uh, what next? Uh, let's look at the old lady. Let's see, what's she doing? Is She's she good? She's still alone. You can call her any time, you know. Yeah. Maybe I will. <laughs> I think that was all of them. Yeah, I think that's about it. I think uh, we've inspected everything here. Talk to Melinda. Hey, we've done quite a good job here. It. Taking care of that freaking scum. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Listen, I know we had some rough patches. Well, I'd say we had some decent ones too. Yeah, I guess we did. Look, and now that we're done, you don't have to hang around. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You saying I bought that easel for nothing? Wait, what? What? What did she bought? You didn't think I'd just leave without offering a thank you gift, did you? I'll come by and check on your progress. What are you talking about? Better have a nice painting ready for me when Christmas comes around. <laughs> well, that's... Uh... Oh, I think she just got us something so that we can draw. Yeah. I oh. didn't see it, though. She placed it right here. Thank you, Mel. Hmm. 
All right, look at that. After Franco's death, the first general election was held in 1977. In 1981, a coup d'etat was carried out by the Guardia Civil, taking Congress hostage during its vote for a new prime minister. Juan Carlos I, the king announced by Franco himself, held a televised speech denouncing the coup attempt and siding with the democratic government. The coup lost its legitimacy and failed, marking the end of Spain's turbulent road to democracy. Alright, look at that! We just finished up the Flower Collectors! This has been a really interesting adventure, I really really enjoyed this one. And I gotta tell you, this game really reminded me of Firewatch, that's for sure. After finishing Firewatch, I definitely felt that I would really enjoy playing a similar game like that. And what do you know, the Flower Collectors offered me exactly what I wanted. This was pretty fun, I don't know, if you guys enjoy this and wanna see more games like this, please uh, let me know down in the comments below. And also make sure to leave a like down below as well if you enjoy the series. Anyway, as usual guys, thank you all very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this. And of course if you did, a like would be very much appreciated. And if you guys are new here and have subscribed yet, please consider doing that, as I'm posting videos just like this one, every single day, playing many more indie adventure games and puzzle games I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy. Alright, this has been The Fall Collectors, and my name is of course Constantine. Stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!